Good morning. It is Monday. Start of a fresh new week. Hoping it's gonna be a good one. Now I can say next week I get to see my son. So next Friday we'll be seeing him. I'm so excited. Um, but I just gotta get through these next couple of weeks. Um, so it's morning on Monday and so I'm just getting ready to make my coffee and get headed out the door so I can start this day and get it over with. But I will talk to you again soon. Hey there, it's Monday about four o'clock. I just got home and I just got done filming a Bonjour Jolie. That's like, doesn't take about maybe 10 minutes because that box came. So when I'm done showing you guys what came in the advent calendar, or what is in the advent calendars, I don't know why I keep saying what came in the advent calendars. Then I'm gonna upload that Bonjour Jolie and get it going. That's one, it's kind of funny because I'll start getting private messages on that one. It, it's like, have you got your box yet? You know, that kind of stuff. And so I us I always film the same day I get it so I can head those things off. So here's the beauty one. And I see the 11th. So we'll see what's in the 11th. One moment. I need reading glasses. I can't see. It says Power Advanced Wrinkle Fighter 360 Degree Eye Serum from Algenist. I love eye serums. You know, I've actually never, no, that's not true. I was going to say I've never bought one, but I have. I've bought that Boots Number no. 7, I think is the brand. But I keep getting like samples so that I've been using and I haven't had to repurchase that. So here's this. That was what was in the beauty one today. The next, the tea one for the 11th. It's so much easier now that I know these boxes turn around. So here's this one. And yeah, I see the 11th right off the bat. It's right here. Turn the box around. A picture is forming. It's very light, can't see it real good. And today's flavor is Alpine Punch. This is one I've heard of, but I've never tried, so I'm excited to get to try it. I get the idea, <clears throat> it's one of their like <clears throat> customer favorites. <sighs> I keep feeling like the last two weeks, I swear I feel like I'm coming down with a cold. I keep like losing my voice. Off and on my nose will get runny, I'll start coughing, my throat will hurt, then it goes away. I don't know. And then, there's only two more socks left. So, for the 11th, I'm not even going to poke it because it's right there. I can get to it from the side. So I'm just going to pull it out of the side. <clears throat> and they say, run with the wind. Another really nice color. It's like a dark coral. So, run with the wind. Those are cute. I don't know what the last pair are going to be, but they're going to be a crew sock. So, last one will be tomorrow. This has been my favorite one. With the tea, I don't know. The tea and the the tea probably my second because I don't know why it's just I lost my train of thought I do that a lot I don't know but anyway I think I'm gonna finish doing this bonjour Jolie thing and then figure out what's for dinner and go from there but anyway talk to you guys again soon good morning it's me and the noisy coffee pot. <laughs> My timing is just perfect. Um, it's Tuesday and I'm getting ready to make my coffee with this loud machine that's finishing up right now and then head out and start the day and 
hope for a good one. I'm pretty sure today's got a lot of meetings. So hey, that was the signal that I'm done. But anyway, I'm do I I'm having that feeling again like I'm coming down with a cold. It's like I don't know, my body can't decide. I hope it decides not to have the cold cuz this isn't so bad. But anyway, I will talk to you again soon. Hey guys, can you tell it's windy outside? <laughs> With this weird hair thing going but figured I would show you the advent calendars for today we have the beauty one today is the 12th and oh there's the 12th right there Ooh, Peter Thomas Roth Cucumber Gel Mask, Extreme Detoxifying Hydrator. So it's a face mask. And I've never bought a full size one of these because they're really expensive. But um, my best friend for Christmas has gotten me like little kits before that have come with Peter Thomas Roth masks and I really like them. Still wouldn't pay what they want regular price, but you know. So up next is the tea. And the 12th. It's just amazing how much easier these are to find when there's less numbers. But there's the 12th. Flip that around. And the tea is coffee. I don't know how to pronounce this. P U apostrophe E R H. Pure? I don't know how to pronounce that. But there are coffee beans in there. And I love coffee and I love tea, so I bet I will like this. And then, last, since it's the 12th, it's our last socks. Ah, I really enjoyed this one. It's been my favorite so far. I love the socks. So let's see what's on the 12th. These are so cute. Oh my goodness. Look, it's the tall crew sock but it has a hedgehog and I don't know what these other animals are. I don't know, maybe a, a mouse and a rabbit and a fox or possibly a deer. I don't know, whatever they are, they're cute and I love the colors and the little hedgehog's body goes all the way around to the, oh look. Okay, so this is a fox because this orange guy because look at here's his tail but and I want to say that's possibly a bunny and a mouse it doesn't matter it's cute I really like these those are so cute well this has been a really fun 12 days of socks and I hope I can get one next year too I'm gonna be on the lookout for it but that's the advents for today I'll talk to you again soon. Good morning. Today is Wednesday and I'm hoping for a good day as usual. I only have two meetings today. One of them is like a longer one, but I think I'm working on a project so I think I'll be able to get some stuff accomplished on it today. But oh yeah, and the new break room is supposed to be open this morning. so. I'm gonna go check it out. Is it sad to be excited about a break room? <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna wait for this coffee pot to finish up, which it's getting ready to do, and make my coffee, gather my stuff together, and head out the door. I'll talk to you again soon. Well, I just got done stopping at Target after work, and it is so windy outside. <laughs> My hair was like a tornado above my head. Uh, it's supposed to, right now it's 58, so the temperature's not too bad at all. But all this wind is supposedly bringing in a cold front, but no moisture, and we really need some rain. 
So the reason I stopped at Target, and I actually did not buy toilet paper today, believe it or not. Usually every time I go to Target, I just buy it whether I need it or not. But I just completely didn't even think about going over into that section. So I stopped to get stop stocking stuffers for the kids. So mission accomplished. Because I didn't want to wait till like next week. I knew everything would be more crowded and possibly even sold out of stuff. So went ahead and stopped tonight. Also bought the stuff to make pancakes because I know when Daniel's home, he'll want to have pancakes. He loves pancakes, so I want to be able to make pancakes for him. And oh, and then for my older son, he loves Chips Ahoy cookies, and he also loves brownies. And I noticed Chips Ahoy has a cookie that has like, it's like a Chips Ahoy on the outside, but a brownie on the inside. So I bought those for him to give him when I get home. And then also some sun butter. He loves sun butter. It's like peanut butter, but it's made out of sunflower seeds. So got him that. Man, there's like some crazy traffic. Um, they got the break room done, so I was able to see the break room. It was really nice. Um, I was excited. My God, is there an accident up here? I was excited because it has a hot water dispenser. The old one didn't have one, and I always had to have like an electric... Um, it's like a tea kettle. I think it's called a hot pot. It's plastic. That's what I have at work and that's what I would heat up water in and so I won't have to use that anymore. I can just go to the break room and get that. Get the water from there. So I'm happy about that and there is an accident up there. I see lights. Ugh. I just want to go home. But anyway, when I get home, I'll show you what what is in the advent calendars for today and talk to you soon. Hopefully I'll get through this soon. I hate being stuck in traffic, especially so close to home. Hey guys, so I'm home now and open up the beauty one. What is the date? 13th. Oh, so where's, oh, there's the 13. It's a round one. What in the world? Kapari? It's like a big, it says Kapari Coconut Mini Melt. Melt a dollop in your hands and coconut your bod from heaven from head to toe. So it's like coconut oil, I guess. I actually could use something like this right now. The dry skin with the winter. And then the David's Tea, 24 days of tea for the 13th. 13. Turn it around and it looks like that. And, ooh, it's kind of orangey red. It says organic cinema, cinnamon rooibos chai. That'll be good. I love chai. So that'll be good. And this is still continuing to make a picture. I can't really tell what it's going to be yet, but there's like a wolf. That's what was in the Advents for today. Good morning. It's Thursday, so the last day to drive down to the building this week. And I am really tired today. I don't know why. I didn't stay up late or anything. I just, it's like I didn't want to wake up this morning. I'm just really tired today. But anyway, just hoping for a good day as usual. And I will talk to you again soon. Hello! It's Thursday still. <laughs> I'm 
from getting off work just a little bit late not not too bad a little bit out of breath because I have to walk up this big hill <laughs> to get to my car and I'm out of shape but uh, wanted to let you know my son Daniel the one in the Air Force graduated tech school today I wish I could have been there it's one of those things that they let you can go to it but it's um, most parents don't I guess because it's a lot smaller it's not really like a ceremony so much they do get their wings pinned on which he got his wings and they do get a diploma but there are only like eight people that were graduating so he did have somebody take three pictures so I got a picture of him getting his wings pinned on a picture of him getting his diploma and a group photo of course he didn't smile for any of them my son he just does not smile for pictures he says he can't fake smile so I said well can you like smile because you're happy after all these weeks that you've been taking all the schooling and the fact that you passed every single test and that you never got washed back and that you've passed all the physical training all the mental training just everything and now you're ready to come home for Christmas and then after that you're gonna go start your on-the-job training I mean are you not happy about all that and it was funny because in the group picture it's like him and one other person aren't smiling everybody else is smiling why can't my son smile but you know it is what it is it's kind of funny because he's not the most smiley in pictures anyway and so usually I have to kind of sneak catch him in natural moments you know <sighs> I don't know but anyway I just wanted to give you that little update and let you know that he graduated today and then a week from tomorrow I'll get to see him and I'm so excited and tomorrow's Friday so I'll be working from home so that's it I'll talk to you again soon Advent time start with the beauty one. It's getting a lot lighter as these days go by. Find 13. No, 14. 14 is on this side. And it is It's a pretty color whatever it is. Seaberry. It's a hair mask. So that's what came or what's in the beauty one today and then the T one the David's T one for the 14 turn the picture or turn the box over today's tea is lemon pound cake that'll be interesting I'm not a big fan of lemon in my tea but I am a fan of cake, so maybe this will be good. Definitely will try it. So that's the Advents for today. Hello there, it's Friday. It's about 10.15, I'm working from home today. I'm gonna take an early lunch because I have an eye doctor appointment at 11.30. So yeah, but I figured I'd go ahead and do the Advents for the day. Beauty one. What is today? The 15th. How could I forget? Because it's payday today. So, ooh, 15 is on this side. It looks like a big opening. Is it a big gift? What the heck is that? Cognac Sponge by Julep. It's a Best of Beauty Allure Award winner. Um, detoxifying bamboo charcoal powder, exfoliating cognac, and exfoliating cognac root. Wet sponge and massage in a circular motion can be used with or without cleanser. 
Rinse thoroughly and squeeze out excess water. Hang to dry. Do not wring. For best results, use morning and night. Replace every one to two months. If sponge gets hard or dry, rehydrate before use. Made for all skin types. Please note, sponge will arrive damp. And it is. It's damp. Does that seem kind of weird to use the same thing to wipe your face for one to two months? Does the charcoal powder keep it from getting like bacteria or whatever? I'm going to have to research that a little bit. People must like it if it's like an award winner. That's pretty cool. So that's what was in the beauty one. And for the David's Tea one. Number 15 is right here. And it is... Ooh, I don't know what flavor it is, but I see little like chocolate maybe white chocolate chips. It says raspberry cream pie. Ooh. What if I could find that one quickly on the back of this thing? Uh, green rooibos, cane sugar, white chocolate chips, which is not chocolate at all. I don't know why they call it chocolate, but whatever. <laughs> um, blah, blah, blah. Blackberries, raspberries, some kind of petals that I'm not even going to try to pronounce. Strawberry leaves. It has hibiscus, but it's way low in the ingredients because some of you might remember for some reason when I drink tea with hibiscus, some of them make me feel sick to my stomach, like nauseous. I don't know why, but others don't. Like if it's not like a, a bunch of it, I'm fine. So that's that one. That one sounds good. I haven't tried every single one of them. My intention was each tea as it came out, I was going to have that tea for the day, every single day, but I haven't. I still haven't tried six of them. So yeah, I had good intentions, but anyway, and it's continuing to make a picture just not very many days left and the best news for today is it's exactly a week from today that we get to see Daniel so excited his plane gets here I think around 320 on Friday the 22nd so I'm super 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 excited to see him and but I guess I probably should finish up some of the work I wanted to get done before I left for the eye doctor. Nathan also has a vet appointment today, but it's after I get off work. Um, it's just his regular annual checkup, but I was waiting since he had his issues and I had to spend so much money at the vet when he was sick. I was like waiting until after um, the credit card that I used for that was paid off. So. And so I had to wait for it to cut off. And anyway, long story short, his appointment will be today. So, um, oh yeah, I've got on Meowie Christmas. So, I really like this sweatshirt. Um, and I don't know if you've noticed in the microwave the reflection. Probably just noticed now. Normally I can't see cars going back behind, because we live on a highway, but our fence is down. Um, if you remember a few weeks ago, we got one side done. Well, now the other two sides are getting done. So all that's back there is the side that's done. And then now we have steel fence posts that are up and they're setting because they go down into the ground in concrete. And so tomorrow the rest of the fence will get put up. But right now we feel so naked. I don't like it. I mean, I really miss the privacy fence in the back. And also, when the fence is down, we have to put Nathan on a leash when he has to go outside. So he's not liking having to be in a harness all the time either. Plus, it's like he gets distracted by that traffic. So you let him, we take him outside to go potty, and he's like, the whole time, he's like looking and watching the cars. So we have to try to get him on the side that does have the fence up and to, to try to at least lessen the um, distraction a little bit. And that worked this morning. But it just sucks, you know, because in the evenings I like to like get right in my pajamas when I get home from work. And so now we're having to take him outside and it's like, I'm still going outside in my pajamas. Because honestly, 
as the cars are going by. You barely notice anybody ever even look in this direction, but you still, or I still get self-conscious if I'm out there in my pajamas, which I don't know why, because usually it's like flannel pajamas, which pajamas nowadays, if you wear those kind, cover up more skin than a lot of people cover up on a day-to-day -day basis, but anyway, I'll just speak, oh, and plus we can see our neighbor's house, and um, I don't know what she's doing with her dogs, but she has dogs, and so I don't know if she's I mean, she's not been just letting them out, obviously, because poor little things would get run over by cars or whatever, so. But I know they're over there because um, my husband said when they when they were taking the old fence down and putting up the uh, posts, that could hear the dogs barking in the house. So she's probably bringing them out on a leash. Um, and I just don't see her because I'm not always looking into the backyard anyway. But anyway, that's it for now. I'm rambling and I need to finish up a couple things before I head to the eye doctor. But I'll talk to you again soon. Hello there. So now it is like 3.35 and I'm off work and I just got home with Nathan. He had his annual checkup today. He has spent a lot of time at the vet this year. But he got a clean bill of health, got all his vaccinations, so he's good. And now I've come in, I'm gonna make myself some tea. I wanna try that kind that I got this morning out of the Advent, what was it? Raspberry cream pie. I really wanna try that one. So I'm gonna be making this. And that's one thing too. I don't know if I told you guys, these do make one mug, but that's because my mugs are this size, they're big. I think if you had like a small one, you could probably get two but it's the perfect size for a big mug. And so, yeah, I'm ready to wrap down the day already when it's only, well now, 3.36. But it's been kind of a, had the eye doctor earlier, which I got my new glasses. And these are purple, which I don't think you can probably tell from here. But, um, Nikki, I am taking your advice. I got on to, oh my gosh, Zenny. Is it Zenny? Zenny Optical? And so I got a, the glasses that I usually have, they're still good because my prescription really didn't change much. So I have those. Now I have these, which I tried something totally different that I never tried before. And I got on Zenny and I ordered three pairs of glasses and I had only planned on ordering one so I could try them out and decide if I liked them or not then I was gonna order more but I just got I let myself get carried away and I ended up ordering that's the tea kettle if you hear that I ended up ordering three pair but it was only $55 and that was with the shipping and everything and that was with the glasses plus getting the um, like the anti-glare coating and I got the clip-on sunglasses for each pair and then they automatically come with the scratch coating and a case and a, a cloth so $55 I thought that was a really good deal and so um, and I saw they had really good reviews and so yeah once those come in I'll let you know how I like them but my water's almost boiled, so I'm gonna start on this tea. But I just, um, I wanted to say thanks, Nikki, about t for telling me about that site. And uh, I think you had said a couple of others, and then I did some like research on a few others, like direct, I buy direct, and some others. But that that one seemed like it was the one that had the best reviews and everything. So, so that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys again soon. So I heard this funny noise, and uh, somehow Mr. Man has managed to get himself under the chair cover. Well, hello, cutie. Are you cold, perhaps? What are you doing? You are so adorable, but you're defeating the purpose of the chair cover. Oh, 
I just can't get over how cute this is. Chair cover's not working right, but that's all right. <laughs> Hello there. It is Saturday at 9.20 in the morning. And I'm headed to, I'm sure you can probably guess where, Target. Because I do need to get toilet paper this time. So, and I need a couple of other things. I had sent Daniel a text yesterday asking him, what kind of things do you want me to have in the house for when you're home, you know? He and I used to, like he'd go to Target with me and there's always several different little snacks and stuff he would always ask for. And so he was like, well, why don't, why don't we just go to Target when I get there? So, not gonna I'll wait for him because you know maybe his tastes have changed um, from what he used to like to snack on when he lived at home so I don't know we'll see and is the Sun like really I, I can't even see my reflection at all in my phone so I apologize if the Sun is like blocking everything <laughs> because I can't see but Later today, we have a Christmas party to go to. I won't be able to do any like filming or anything of it because it's uh, friends of ours who, um, I don't, they're not like into the YouTube thing and all that. I don't even think they even know that I do YouTube. But, um, you know they're doing like a they bought a new house and so they're doing like an open house and stuff like that and I don't think that they would appreciate me filming any of that and plus I wouldn't feel comfortable doing it anyway but so they're people that usually do a Christmas party and we've gone to several of them and uh, they're nice they have like drinks and hors d'oeuvres and stuff I I feel a little bit well, actually, I feel a lot out of place <laughs> because um, they're people that have a lot of money. And so this is like the third house that we've known of since we've known them that they have bought and decorated and have had like a party in. And they're just always these big, beautiful, wonderful houses. And the people, the are super nice they don't ever make me feel uncomfortable at all it's myself you know I'm the one who makes myself feel uncomfortable because sometimes some of the guests at the party will some of the things they talk about and stuff you know I don't know a lot of the people see these friends they're so super nice and what they do is like the way that my husband Found, got introduced to them was like through work and like when he used to work for uh, the furniture company he used to, or the kitchen cabinetry and all that this company he worked for he built like a bar for them and my husband's he does woodworking and even when he had his for a while he did his own home improvement company and he did a lot of work for them and built a lot of things and everything well, they're the kind of people that if they like you and they trust you, you're an automatic friend, you know, you're their friend. And um, so they just became friends. They've always invited us to the parties and everything. The other guests at the party, there are a lot of them that are just like that. Maybe it's the painter, you know, uh, just think, you know, just several different people that are just like everyday people like we are. And so, ah, oh, damn it. See, I was coming th this direction thinking that I was going to block the sun, and I totally didn't. So, okay. Let me come this way. People are probably thinking, what is that dumb woman doing? But, oh my god. I just can't win. There. I guess this time of day, the sun just doesn't want to be my friend. I'm happy it's sunny. It's supposed to, the weather's supposed to get up actually pretty nice today. 
But anyway, so a lot of the guests at the party are just normal, everyday people, you know, and they're really nice and everything. I just feel out of place. And like I said, it's just in my own head because they're super nice. They don't make you feel out of place or anything. Also, I've gained some weight. I feel like a cow and I'm uncomfortable, you know, in social situations. I've never been into parties and stuff. I always am, I'm, I don't like, I won't go up and approach people and talk to them and stuff. I'm just, I'm very awkward that way. I have always been that way. My husband's just the opposite. He can talk to anybody. He, as a matter of fact, he goes and gets a haircut and they end up knowing his life story almost, you know, because he can just talk to anybody. Now, if somebody approaches me and starts talking, then I'm fine. I can talk to them, especially if we have something in common, you know. It's just I don't approach other people and everything. So, I don't know. It's like part of me wants to go because I really enjoy the company of some of the people that we've talked to. We only see them during the parties, um, and they're really nice. And I, you know, I, I want to see their new house. Um, that's really cool, you know, to, to go around seeing the new house and everything. And um, Brian's done some work in this house too. And I've, I've seen pictures, but I haven't seen it in person. And they always do such a good job bragging on him and everything. Um, so I want to see that. And they always have really good like hors d'oeuvres and stuff and wine and so I'm looking forward to all that so it's like once I get there I'll probably be okay it's I don't know I every single last year I don't think they had a Christmas party but every other one it's like the same kind of thing I feel really anxious and then once I get there I'm okay so and then after the first of the year my husband and I are both gonna start eating healthier because it's so weird. On the weeks that I do Blue Apron, we eat healthy all week. On the weeks that we don't do Blue Apron, we've been eating fast food a lot. And it's, it's, it is making a difference. It really is. Both of us have gained weight. So we are going to do better about meal planning and stuff because when I used to do that, you know, we would figure out what we were going to have, go to the grocery store, and we were eating so much healthier. And both of us had lost a lot of weight and... I don't know what happened we just got I don't know and like he's been eating a whole bunch of Ben and Jerry's like ice cream and stuff and I don't know like the other day I bought all that Topsy's popcorn been eating the heck out of that like caramel corn and cheddar corn and stuff so we just need to get healthier and then I'll start feeling more confident again and so yeah, I don't know why I got on this discussion, but anyway, I'm at Target, so I'm going to go ahead and go in, <laughs> and I will talk to you again soon. Hello, now I'm on my way home. It is 2.37. I stayed out all day. Why did I do that? It is like really super windy. It's also gotten really warm. My car thermometer says it's 47, but it feels warmer than that. And maybe it's because inside the stores has been kind of hot. And so anyway, after I went to Target, went over to the pet store and I got um, fish water, that ready water that we always buy for the fish tank go through more of it in the winter because it's like when the air is dry it sucks more water out of the tank so I got that and then Joann's is right next door so I went over to Joann's I didn't buy anything but in case you're interested they have all their Christmas stuff even like the wrapping paper and the bags and everything for 70% off and then after that right next door to that there's a shoe store called shoe sensation and I went in there just to look around and I ended up buying myself a pair of their Skechers, but they look kind of like those um, Sperry's shoes. I don't know exactly what the style of them is. They have laces. When I was growing up, they called them deck shoes. I don't know if they still call them that, but they were navy and they had stars on them. And they were on clearance and I just thought they were really cute. And so I got those. Then I went across the street and went to vintage stock because I wanted to see if they had 
um, any PlayStation 4 controllers on sale because I got my husband a golf game for his PlayStation and I also bought him a PlayStation but anyway it only comes with one controller and we wanted to be able to play the golf game together and so I was looking for a controller but they didn't have any on sale they were just the regular price so I didn't get one and I did look around a little bit though and then I went to this store called Maurice's because I saw they had a sign that said they had everything buy one get one 75% off but they were lying because it's not everything it's everything except for what says new arrivals almost every single freaking thing in the store had the new arrivals so I did see one shirt I liked but I didn't see another thing anywhere in that store I liked that I was willing to pay what they wanted for it so I left there then I went over to Kohl's which I did not have any intention of going to Kohl's but my husband keeps saying he needs some new black dress slacks and then he's been wanting to get a couple of new sweaters and Kohl's was so crowded I thought well maybe they have some good deals going on and they did so I went in there and I ended up getting him some black slacks two sweaters and two shirts so hopefully he'll like them and if he doesn't it's not a big deal we can take them back so now I'm headed home and my feet are killing me and now I gotta get ready to go to that party. I don't know why I did that. They're, and they're also working on the fence. He just now called just right before I started on here. He said the fence is done. So he was putting all his tools and everything up and was gonna take a shower and start getting ready also. So that's the update for now. <laughs> I'll talk to you again soon. I'm ho If I have time after I get ready, I'll show you what, what's in the advents for today. I haven't checked in those yet. And uh, so yeah, and I need to get a drink. I'm like really thirsty. So talk to you soon. Hello there. I'm all ready for the party. Uh, I just have like a little sparkly sweater, black jeans, black pants. But I figured I'd show what came in these things today. And what is the date? 16? Yep, 16th. So, in the beauty one, the 16's over here. And it is, what is this? Skin Fix. I can't, I can't. There. Skin Fix Flavor Free Lip Repair Balm for Dry Trapped lip, Chapped Lips. 40% coconut oil. It's also on Allure Best in Beauty. Actually, I'm really kind of excited about this one. My lips do get really chapped in the winter, so that's awesome. And then the tea for today. <laughs> 16 is down here. Flip the box over. Ooh, this one is Sleigh Ride. Looks like that. I'm going to see if I can find it on the back. See what it says about it. Sleigh Ride, Sleigh Ride. Apple. Ooh, hibiscus blossoms. Pineapple. Although I tried that, um, oh, what was it? Uh, the raspberry cream pie and it had hibiscus and it. it was delicious. It didn't do anything bad. Um, papaya, beetroot, cinnamon, raisins, coconut, almonds. Ooh, this one sounds like it's gonna be really good. I'm excited to try that. So, that's the advents for today. We're getting ready to leave here in a few minutes. And that's it for today. I'll talk to you in the morning because I'll show you what came in the advents for in the morning. But talk to you again soon. Hello there. It is Sunday and I am still in my pajamas and I'm probably gonna stay in my pajamas all day and watch Hallmark Christmas movies and maybe read clean house a little bit. I don't know. 
I haven't decided yet. So yesterday or last night we went to the party. It was really nice. Um, the house was amazing and gorgeous and huge. And um, the hosts were wonderful as always. And I didn't really have any reason to be anxious. I, I always do that though. It's like I get anxious and then I get there and it's like everybody's nice and there's no reason to feel anxious, but I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but, and I'll probably go through the same thing next year if we get invited or if they have a party where I'll get all anxious about it and then everything will be fine. So I don't know, but anyway, I'm going to do these for today. It's the 17th. And for the beauty one, the 17 is right there. I wonder if it's going to be like a little pot of sorts. Since it's round, it seems like that's what they keep being when it's round. And it is, but I don't know what it is yet because I can't get it out of here. Come on. Oh, I did wrap some presents this morning, so I got, I did get something productive done. Oh, and then the party was supposed to go till 11, but we only stayed till about 9.30. Okay, looks like this, it's this little pot, Clark's Botanicals Age Defying Radiance Cream. Age Defining, defining Radiance Cream is like applying an instant glow filter to your skin. Massage onto just cleansed skin. Follow with a serum and eye cream. Huh. Clark's Botanicals. I've heard of it. I've never used it before. So that's number 17. And then for the tea, which I think I'm actually going to make some tea this morning. I've already had coffee. I'm ready to move on to tea. So the 17 is up top here. And it is, ooh, okay. I'm gonna have to have this one this morning. Caramel shortbread. That sounds really good. Caramel shortbread. I wanna smell it. Oh my God. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, this is what tea I'm getting ready to make for sure. And this is continuing to make a picture. I think it's just going to be like a woodland scene because I can tell that there's like trees, not like a Christmas tree, or it doesn't look like it. And then there's just like that snow fox. So there we go. But I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up for the week so I can go ahead and get it to upload and um, start getting ready to start a new week and it'll be the week where I get to see Daniel on Friday so I'm happy about that and so I will talk to you all again next week. Bye!